As California declines, its housing crisis seems worse in its most affluent towns. It's an interesting paradox. Mountain View, California, is the home of Google, the world's most powerful tech company. Apartments rent in Mountain View for more than $4,100 per month on average. The average home costs more than $1.8 million. And these are ranch-style homes. These are not big. You would want to live in one, trust me. Now, homelessness, not surprisingly, is exploding in Mountain View. Hundreds of people are living out of RVs. The city's solution? Kick them out. The city council has enacted a ban on RVs parking in the city overnight. This is a story that tells you a lot about a lot. To respond to it tonight, we've asked Jason Nichols, professor of African-American studies at the University of Maryland, to join us. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Thank, thank you, Tucker. Thank you for having me. So there's a paradox here. Mountain View, one of the richest places in the world, also one of the most liberal, and yet it's a city that's really defined by its income inequality, and it's not alone in that. In fact, across the country, the places with the greatest divide between rich and poor are almost exclusively left-wing places. What do you make of that? Well, I, I think that, that it, it goes beyond this kind of political divide that we're talking about. I, I think that actually we're seeing gentrification around the country uh, in red states and blue states, in red cities and blue cities. Um, this is just a, a matter of income inequality altogether, the fact that the price of housing is rising much higher and much faster than the uh, than wages. Wages are raise, rising at about 3% right now, which is a good rate. We have a strong economy, but housing prices are rising by about 5% and have been for several years. So I think that this is more than just political, and, and I think we, we need to come it together is. as Americans and come to uh, some I agree. Some I agree with that, but I, I, do, I don't agree that this is happening in red cities and blue cities. It's just happening in blue cities. I, I don't think that there is a red state in this country, a place controlled by conservatives, that has this level of income inequality. No place in Wyoming, for example, has this. Rural Alabama doesn't have this. It's San Francisco, it's New York, it's Seattle, it's Portland, Oregon, it's Los Angeles. These are the most liberal places in America, and yet they have the most homeless. I mean, at some point, you well, have to ask, what is going on? Well, so, uh, yeah, again, I, I would go, if we're going to talk about places like San Francisco and, and L.A. and Washington, D.C., of course, uh, I think part of this, right. part of the reason, you know, real estate goes by supply and demand. And unfortunately, you know, I, I want to give a shout out to everybody in Wyoming, but there are many people who don't want to live in Wyoming or don't want to live in rural Alabama. But many people, particularly people with lots of money, want to live in places like San Francisco, and that leads to a push-out, and people uh, end up without homes, and prices actually, why because the helping? demand is so high, the supply is low. Oh, I get it. I get it, but why aren't they helping? So if you're in Mount, you know, if you're, if you're the founders of Google and you're progressive icons and you, you, know, you really believe you're a good person because you help so many people, why aren't you doing something to help people right on the sidewalk in front of your mansion? Why isn't Nancy Pelosi doing something about homelessness in her city? I, I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Well, no, I, I would agree that there are many things that politicians need to do on both sides of the aisle in order to, you know, uh, deal with this crisis, you know. Um, but I, I would say, again, I, I would also go with the, the fact that the leader of HUD, who is, you know, my old friend, Dr. Carson, um, is someone who is rising rents on some of the poorest people in the country right now. They're doing some good things at HUD, and I, I'm not so sure that Dr. Carson is the guy to talk to, but there are many people over there who are also rising rents on, on people who can't afford it, and that's leading to a, more of a push-out. Uh, of course, in California, you have 8 in 10 people actually live outdoors, so people in RVs are actually somewhat uh, fortunate in that circumstance. So I yeah, think there's that there, something about, it's both sides of the yeah, aisle, something Tucker. And, I don't know. I, don't, I, just, I guess I just don't see that. If you can if you find, I hope you'll come back. If you can find a city of over 100,000 people in America run by conservatives that has the same problem with homelessness or income inequality. I just don't think there is one. But maybe there is, and I will stand corrected if you can find it. Professor, thank you very much. Thank, thank you for having me, Tucker. Good to see you.